Hello everyone, Pete here. And while Microsoft may not officially be bringing this incredible Xbox full screen experience to the current ROG Ally, Ally X like I'm using right here, Legion Go or indeed any Windows PC gaming handheld for a few more months or even later in 2026, we can get it right now. And I've been holding off installing this so far. In fact, I did a video recommending us not to install it when it leaked three weeks ago due to it potentially not being a smooth experience. But now the Xbox Ally handhelds have now just launched, it seems that many of the early issues and bugs have now been fixed. And the benefits of having this are huge such as an aggregated game library with both our Xbox, Game Pass, Steam and other third party games all together, a much more powerful search experience, my favourite which is quick app switching and better optimization, resulting in better performance when playing our games through this. So here are the five easy steps to get this installed that very importantly does not require us to do this on the Windows developer channel which can really mess stuff up. And we can do this right now on our current ROG Ally, Ally X, Legion Go or indeed any PC Windows gaming handheld. So for step one, let's make sure we're on the very latest software for our handheld, which for us on the ROG Ally and Ally X is Armory Crate. So let's head into it. We should have this lovely new and much cleaner interface and settings like this. Let's head into Update Center. And yes, we should be on this 2.1.10 that got released just a few days ago. A quick note here, and that with it being so new, it still is a little buggy. No, not that kind of buggy, or um, definitely not this kind of buggy, yikes. And quite a few of you super smart viewers commented on my update vid about this too. Viewers like Max8814 noticing it's missing such basic features like a battery percentage and time too. Come on Asus, get this sorted ASAP. And I know that for me, sometimes my mouse clicks aren't working to select buttons like power or even when I use the touch screen either. I have found a fix for this though, and I think it's a bug to do with this new touchscreen button that got added, as when we turn it off and then turn it back on again using our mouse or gamepad, then our mouse clicks start to work again thankfully, as does the touchscreen too. So when we've installed this brand new Armory Crate 2.1.10, let's hit the power button and restart our ally to be on the safe side. Next for step 2, let's make sure our Windows updates are all up to date. So let's press the start button, then settings, and head into Windows updates. Now you may want to try this without enabling this, get the latest updates as soon as they're available button and this may still work for you. But for my ally, it did seem that I needed to enable this for it to work for me. So I'm gonna to toggle this to on, but do be aware that this may not be the smoothest version of Windows. So you do whatever you feel most comfortable with. Hit the blue check for updates button, or in my case, retry. Download all the latest Windows updates it gives us. I had this reinstall your current version of Windows to repair system files and components pop up. So I clicked reinstall and then I clicked OK on this blue message. But you probably won't have this as I've been trying to do this over the last few weeks unsuccessfully. So I think that some repairing of my files was needed on my ally for some reason. Now this Windows version 24H2 we can see here did work for me. And I know that many of you who've got the Xbox full screen experience did it on version 25H2 as well. And when it's installed, we get this restart message, so hit OK. When our ally has restarted, head back into Windows settings, then to Windows updates, hit the blue check for updates button, and we're aiming to get this your up to date message with no more updates available for us. And if we go into update history, as I say for me, 24H2 actually works for me, and you may have the version 25H2 of Windows. You may want to restart like I did again and hit that blue check for updates button again just to double check that we indeed do have all updates as another one sneaked in for me. So with our Windows updates now fully up to date, with step three, let's quickly join the Xbox Insider program to get all the latest updates for the Xbox full screen experience software. So let's click on the start menu, head into the Microsoft store, type in Xbox Insider and download this Xbox Insider Hub app which as you can see, I've already installed. When it's installed, let's open it, head into the previews section on the left, scroll down to select the PC gaming tab. And as you can see here, I've already joined it. So for me, it's at the bottom in the joined section. Click on this PC gaming area, then click on manage. And we simply join here using our Xbox email. And when we've joined like I've done it, then this PC gaming box should now be enabled. We finished here so we can click save, then exit out. Close the Microsoft Store, go into Armory Crate, then into Game Platforms, head into the Xbox app, and it should now have this Xbox Insider external Delta description here at the very top. 
And if this doesn't appear for you, then you may need to restart your Ally for it to fully load up. So with us now in the Xbox Insider program, for step four, let's now join the Windows Insider program. Now there are reports like from our very own super smart viewer, Count Blackula, that they didn't have to join the Windows Insider program for this to work for them. But I definitely had to for me, so I'll show you how to do it right now. So on our web browser, on our Ally, Google Windows Insider to get the official Windows Insider website, and I'll leave a link below in the description. Scroll down slightly to where it says on the right Windows Release Preview Channel. Click on the blue Latest Build in Windows 11 link. Scroll down just below the first pick where it says for instructions on how to join the Windows Insider program and join the release channel. Click on this link. Then scroll down slightly and register for the Windows Insider program. And as you can see right here, it should say you've already registered when you've done so like I have. So when you've registered, click the Start Previewing Windows blue button here. Then this blue open settings button right here. Click allowing this pop up and click this open settings button. In our Windows Insider program settings area, in this top join the Windows Insider program, click this blue get started button. Press this link and account button and simply sign in with our email. Then press continue. Then in this choose your Insider channel step, do not, I repeat, do not click the dev channel as we'll need to fully wipe all of our data to get back onto the main stable channel again. Yikes. Instead, choose this release preview option at the bottom. I will state clearly here that this may not be quite as stable as the normal Windows release channel, but if you're happy to do this like I am, then I'll repeat again, it is this release preview option right here that we need to select. Then click the blue continue button. Now the first time it didn't seem to do it for me for some weird reason, and I don't know why. So I just clicked the open settings button again, then the get started button again, entered my email again, and then chose the release preview option again to continue. And it did work for me this second time round. We should get this restart to this device to finish message. So make sure that we're plugged into a wall socket and click the blue restart now button and our ally will now restart. So when our ally has restarted in Armory Crate, let's head into our Xbox app. And yes, for the first ever time that we should get this, press here to enter the Xbox full screen experience option on the top right. So let's click this new gray button. We should get this gray pop-up asking us to enable full screen experience in our Windows settings. So let's click this, go to Windows settings button right here. If you go into the gaming area in our Windows settings, we should have a new option called full screen experience, but this did not appear for me. I only have three options called game bar, captures and game mode. Try restarting our ally and heading back into the gaming area of Windows settings. And if this new full screen experience option is not appearing like it didn't for me, we just need to do the final fifth step that I'll show you right now. So some of us may not have to do this, but for step five, we need to force the Xbox full screen experience to show here using a tool called VV. So let's minimize our window settings, open up our web browser on our ally and Google VV spelt V-I-V-E, -V -E, then the word tool. It's this first link here in GitHub, so click on this and I'll leave the direct link below in the description. At the time of recording, the latest version of this VV tool is version 0.3.4. So let's click on this, then scroll down to the assets area at the bottom and click on this zip file link that ends with the Intel AMD to download it. When it's downloaded, head into our downloads folder, right click on our zipped file, click on extract all. I'm gonna extract it in the default place, which is the downloads folder then click extract. In this new unzipped folder, we will have four files. Then at the top of where our folder path is, then click on it right here. This folder path is now highlighted in blue, like you can see right here. So what we need to do here is to right click to copy this, or of course we can also press Ctrl and C on a keyboard to copy this as well, then minimize this window. Now hit the start menu button. At the top in search type CMD, which shows this command prompt area. And this is very important that we need to select this run as administrator option. As I say, it is crucial that we click this run as administrator option right here. We'll get a Windows command processor pop up, so just hit yes. And we're here in this command prompt. Now don't freak out here, I'm gonna guide you through every step of the way, so don't worry. Here type in CD and then space, all lowercase. Then press the right button, which will paste our folder path from our VV folder right here. Or of course we can press Ctrl and V on our keyboard to paste, then press enter. 
Now copy the first line of text that I've put below in the description of this vid and paste here, which ends with the number 52580392, then press enter. Then it should say successfully set future configuration. Then copy the second line of text that I've put below in the description of this very vid and paste here, which ends with the number 5090.2630. Then press enter. And this too should then say successfully set feature configuration. We finished here, so let's close this command prompt, hit the start menu. Then in the search bar at the top, type REG, then click this registry entry app and hit yes on the pop up. Again, don't freak out here in this registry editor. We've nearly done and I'll guide you through this. Let's select the H key local machine, then press the down arrow, then software and click the down arrow, then Microsoft and click the down arrow. Scroll all the way to the bottom to Windows NT and click the down arrow, then current version and click the down arrow, then select OEM. Now we should have this device form file here. It was already here for me, but if for some reason that you do not have this file, then right click, then select new, then DWORD 32 bit value and click this and simply type device form just like this. So capital D and F and no spaces. And in the data part, make sure that this ends in 2E. I can't create one as it's already appeared for me. Like I say, I already had this device form file, so I'm going to delete this new one I created to show you. And let's just double check everything is okay by double clicking on this device form file. And it is crucial that the value data shows 2E. I'll say again, 2E should show right here. So let's press OK. Then let's restart our ally. Once our ally has restarted, hit the start menu and head into Windows settings, head into the gaming area. And voila, we indeed now do finally have our new full screen experience option. Yes. So let's click into here. In this choose home app section, let's click the drop down and change it to Xbox. And in this enter full screen experience on startup options, toggle this to on. Then below in the game bar area in related settings, let's click on this. In this allow your controller to open game bar, toggle this to on. And make sure this option below about a guide button in apps is also enabled like it already was for me. And now press the start button to restart our ally. Congratulations, you are now fully set up on the Xbox full screen experience. And hit like if this setup guide helped you and also subscribe for more content just like this. And now we have this much more console like feel that I mentioned earlier with our aggregated library. This new search experience bar at the top it's in the command center button now brings up this much more modern looking command center that's now integrated into our Xbox game bar. Hitting the army crate button on the right brings up that app and hitting the army crate button again brings up this amazing app switcher which is so ace. At the bottom of this new app switcher we can switch back to our Windows desktop whenever we want to right here and we will have better optimization when launching games through this Xbox full screen experience too. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this new Xbox full screen experience. Let us know how your installation process was. For example, did you have to use the VV tool or not? And share any tips below in the comments. And a huge thanks to everyone who voted on a recent community poll here on the channel, where a whopping 82% of you awesome viewers requested this tutorial. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Sometimes what seems to be a step back can actually be a huge step forward. When I reflect on my life, more often than not, the most difficult and painful times were actually the catalyst that brought about many of the best things that have happened since. Remember that setbacks are only temporary and are often valuable lessons for us to learn from. So stay encouraged today, guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. We've set up our Xbox full screen experience. Buying these amazing ergonomic hand grips for our Ally or Ally X will truly make us no longer crave the Xbox Ally X. So find out all the info about them in this vid. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.